clever people, and welcome back to my review of The Born Identity. So, this film I picked up at the library and I consider buying it. I'll get to that in my review. So, The Born Identity is a movie about Jason Bourne, who is dropped off in the ocean with no memory of who he was, what happened, what he did. He just has these instincts of, I could kill this person by doing this, making up strategies in his head without knowing how he learned that. So, to be honest, I am not the big action, I'm not the biggest action film fan. Like, normally, like, James Bond movies I find to be sometimes entertaining, and overall, they're just okay films. But, and, like, the only action movies I really like are action comedies or action dramas. And this is just a pure action movie. And this is the first pure action movie I think I've liked, ever. <laughs> so, um... Uh, uh, actually, Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol. But, yeah, this is a really good movie. Uh, Matt Damon. It's not the best performance I've ever seen him in. Good Will Hunting, obviously. But, um, he was really good in this. Like... He's not like that stereotypical badass guy who just does everything and he has no personality at all, like James Bond. Please don't kill me, anyone. <laughs> but he has backstory, and it's a good one, and you can see that he is a person. Besides this murderer he is, he is a real person. He's not like... This, this piece of cardboard that just kills people, <laughs> like James Bond, which I feel happens with a lot of action movies. It's just, hey, I'm good at killing people, and I'm going to get the girl. So, yeah, I don't... But this was a good movie. There is dramatic elements to it, which is surprising. And I really liked the dramatic elements. Uh... Heck, like every action movie ever, it's entertaining. It it just keeps you on the edge of your seat. It's thrilling and entertaining. It's really good. And the action is really well done. And as I said, you are on the edge of your seat just like, is he going to do this? Is he going to do this? Oh my god, that happened. Like, you're like that throughout the entire movie. I would definitely recommend this movie. I would give this movie a... What score would I give this? A... A or a uh, 9.5. I would definitely buy this movie. Um, and I'm going to review The Born Supremacy and The Born Ultimatum and Born Legacy if I have time. But yeah, if there's. But I'm also going to be doing Star Trek and Star Trek Beyond. Uh, Star Trek in Darkness for Star Trek Beyond. Uh, not any of the originals because that would wait. That would take a lot of time. Cause they're all really long films. There's six, I think? Six or five. Yeah. Um, and do you guys want me to do Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters 1 and 2? Cause I, I will do that. Just say in the comments. And I will be doing, uh, if you guys want, I will do my movie collection. I'll share my movie collection. If you guys want, say if you want it in the comments. So I think the next reveal I'll be doing is The Born Supremacy or Ghostbusters. Or the Ghostbusters movies, if you say you want that to happen. Okay, so I'm Connor Gilbert, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.